Welcome guys! Today we're touring May House Saigon, one of the most beautiful boutique hotels in Ho Chi Minh City. Are you ready to uncover whether this hotel deserves its reputation? Let's get started! Welcome to sunny Ho Chi Minh City! Today's hotel is in the heart of the vibrant economic capital of Vietnam, within walking distance of attractions like the War Remnants Museum. Let's start by taking a look at the lobby. Follow me. As you step inside, the amazing grand lobby is the first thing that catches your eyes. The lobby blends French and Indo-Chinese styles in a unique way, giving you an experience like no other. This hotel is more than just a place to stay. It's a boutique gallery hotel, showcasing stunning artwork that tells the local culture story and takes you on a journey through history. Wandering around the lobby is a great option to dive into the fascinating art collection. Check-in was speedy and smooth. And guess what? They offered early check-in for free. How good is that? They have a seriously cool Japanese piano. It's mind-blowing. Here is our signature welcome drink. What a great way to kick off our stay. Right by the front desk, there's a fancy bar where you can grab a drink and chill out. It's got a cozy sitting area too, so you can unwind and enjoy the atmosphere. On the other side, they have set up a more relaxed seating space with magazines from around the world. So if you feel like reading, this is your place. Oh, and check this out. They've got a small business center too. Let's take a peek inside. Guys, let's just take a moment to appreciate the mighty staircase. It's so impressive. On the first floor, you'll find the hotel's restaurant. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try it. Let's now take the lift to the 13th floor to explore our room. Follow me. Welcome to our amazing premium king room. As we enter the room, we have the beautiful bathroom on the left, which we will explore later in more detail. The room feels so bright and spacious, creating a welcoming atmosphere. The decor is simple, but shows a touch of elegance that instantly catches the eye. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, Drop a like now and subscribe for more great content. Now, let's talk about the view from this room. It overlooks the pool and some skyscrapers, although it might not be the best view you've ever seen, to be honest. Premium King rooms have an extra large double bed that is super comfy and the sheets are silky and feel luxurious. If you like firm pillows, you will find this a bit soft, but you can request a firmer pillow, just like I did. We have a small bedside table on both sides of the bed, with two small drawers for your belongings. Premium King rooms are 20% bigger than basic rooms. I paid about $10 more per night, and let me tell you that it's totally worth it. Let's keep exploring the amenities that the room has to offer.
check out this beautiful tea set. Are you a tea person or more of a coffee lover? You also get two complimentary bottles of water every day. And here is the Smart TV remote. Inside the cupboard, you'll find some nice mugs and glasses for your drinks, as well as a kettle, a tea maker, tea bags, and coffee. By the cupboard, we have this beautiful wooden desk. Here we have some additional information about the hotel, including the tempting in-room dining options. Look at this fresh rose. It's a very thoughtful touch, isn't it? By the way, have you noticed how some hotels in Asia have the no durian sign? Right across the bathroom is a wardrobe. Although I must admit, it's a bit on the smaller side. Inside, we've got a torch, an iron, an ironing board, and two cozy robes. We have some more items at the bottom, including two pairs of slippers. Wait, before we dive into exploring the rest of the hotel, let's explore the beautiful bathroom. Let's go. The bathroom feels very elegant thanks to the wide marble. However, it does feel a bit small, especially in the toilet area. The walk-in shower is nice and spacious, perfect for a relaxing shower after a long day, but could have some extra lighting. Here we have some luxurious toiletries by Roberto Cavalli, shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. We can find all we need around the basin, including hand towels, a couple of glasses, this luxury soap bar, and body cream. Oh, and don't forget to open this drawer. A wooden comb, cotton buds, shaving kit, and toothbrush. Now, let's talk about the bathtub. Even though I personally don't use it much, it adds an extra touch of elegance to the bathroom. Here we have an additional towel, this nice sponge, and bath salt. Let's now make our way to the pool area on the fifth floor. The hotel has a lovely pool area with beautiful flowers around it. Although the pool might not be the largest, it offers a peaceful retreat. The afternoon tends to be pleasantly quiet here, allowing you to enjoy a refreshing swim before sunset. On the same floor, we can also find the Four Elements Spa with a wide variety of treatments. They're quite pricey though. And for those of you who like working out, here is the gym. From treadmills to exercise bikes, you'll find everything you need to stay in good shape. My experience at Mayhaw Saigon was amazing and I would certainly choose to stay here again. The location of the hotel is phenomenal for tourists and business travellers alike. Quiet, but close to all points of interest in the city. The staff were very accommodating, and the complimentary early check-in was a big plus that added to the overall experience. From the guest areas to the rooms themselves, everything is a display of beauty and elegance. The rooms are very comfortable and spacious and it's definitely worth paying a bit more for a king room, if you can, for extra comfort. This is one of the best hotels I stayed at in Vietnam. I would definitely recommend it to anyone looking for a unique experience. Guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this amazing boutique hotel. 
share your thoughts in the comments below. That's all for today guys. If you like this video, keep watching. You will love the suggested videos on screen. See you in the next one.